nos han querido causar Boda y half a dream Like a master Luther King Y eso es convivir Es exciting when you have such a high level Brazilian Jiu Jitsu practitioner this man has been a master of the submission in the UFC and even though a lot of people know what's coming more often than not they're unable to stop because the knowledge the knowledge of the Jiu Jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is I mean he will jump for a triangle he will jump for an R bar and as you slam him to the ground he starts to understand okay I'm right where I need you right now this is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it work. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen and it won't happen. Sean Brickhouse Brady, what a win over Kelvin Gaston late in 2023, and that got him back on a championship trajectory. There are not a lot of guys asking for this matchup. Many believe in terms of the pure grappling mixed with the wrestling, this is the best ground fighter in the entire UFC welterweight division. When the hands start to catch up with those skills, scary proposition for all of the elite 170 pounders, but a lot of fight fans and pundits agree. Eventually, Sean Brady is gonna fight for a world title. the octagon here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Gabriel And now we're going to see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Sean So Herb Dean, third man Ready in fight. there for this one. Ready. Good. So half of his UFC wins have come by way of submission. And remarkably for Damian Maya, everybody seems to know what's coming, right? Takedown, submission attempt. And yet, none of the best welterweights in the world, at least to this point in time, have been able to stop it. Damian Maya appears on a collision course with a UFC championship. Gotta have this one tonight. There, he is just killing him with volume. Two. Jab, right hand, body shot. I mean, kick, big for right. Nice double leg, nice finish. And now is where things could get really interesting. Now inside the closed guard, and he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. He a needs fighter to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Are working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, 
Rogers up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Sean Brady. Now he's got a good body position, yep. Yeah. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. you do it, postures up and lands to the head. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you it. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. He's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is spreading off the mat. Brady's got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Beautiful ground and pound, and it looks like he has a cut now. Oh, big elbow. Brady's able to transition back to side control now. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Single collar tie now. And with authority, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's inside side control. He's got a ton of options. All right, heading back to the corner now after that round. And Wyatt's bleeding from the forehead here a bit. Hopefully they can get that under control so it doesn't trickle down into his eyes in the next round. All right, let us now take a look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. He appeared to open up a significant cut on his opponent's forehead with one of those strikes. A lot of blood comes from the cut on the forehead. He did exactly what he needed to do to land the strike that would open up a cut on the forehead. Now that he's got the target, he's got to continue to go there. He's got to continue to land in that spot to try to get his opponent out of there. Of course, his corner imploring him to be more sound defensively. The cut man appeared to do a pretty good job. Let's see how this next round is out. Oh, oh lands a hip toss now. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done. forehead is just leaking blood all over his face. He's unrecognizable right now. I'm not so sure the referee's not going to stop this fight. Takedown defense holds up. That's not the takedown land. And he's not getting much defense when he is taking him down. He's taking him down pretty easily. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this Stop. second round. Well, it looks like the ref has paused the action here. Oh, he's going to call in the doctor to look at that cut. I don't know, John. It looks bad, man. It's a bad cut. I don't know what the decision is going to be here. It can go either way. And that is it. Referee waves off the fight for the doctor's orders. Disappointing conclusion to that. It is, but it's the right call. I mean, this guy was not going to be able to continue this fight with that bad of a cut. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. He played the winner by TKO, Sean Brown!